Alright, it's time for a Rek'Sai game. Uh, Rek'Sai is currently the highest win rate jungler out there. Uh, as of me recording this, of course. So, yeah, I'll show you how to play her. She is clearly very strong, so would highly recommend. Bit tricky, though, for sure. Like, the, the W burrow thing can definitely, get a, can definitely be a bit tricky for a lot of players to deal with. So that is something to keep in mind. Take the ward here, take the reset. I want to go down this because Zin is definitely something I have to respect in the early game. Uh, I can't really fight him that well. And he can invade me here potentially. If you're starting topside, I'd like to start red buff mostly on the Rek'Sai. You can go for early gank potential sometimes depending on wave, uh, uh, like lane positioning, wave positioning. So this Warwick, for example, could be a great, could be a great gank. It doesn't have barrier on Warwick, which is really nice. So that is definitely an option uh, to go for, potentially. No flash either, so a knockup is pretty much guaranteed. And that, yeah, and can end up being nice, but depends on the wave position. It depends on how Darius puts that wave or how he gets pushed in or whatever. So that's something that has to be respected for a little bit. If it is a good gank option, we'll go on level 3, basically. So we just clear our top side, and then we will be able to... Uh, go top on level three after raptors if it's not a great gank on top we could just continue clearing and potentially go for bot lane instead so yeah we'll see yeah, we'll just see how it turns out really all based on the wave positioning darius seems to be getting a large amount of pressure on top lane so i think the top lane ganks out the sea wave is pushing in here seems like i'm not going to be able to do much there Q from a distance to group those together and we just keep clearing Okay. That is not going to kill, sadly. I need to do one more hit. Currently, no real gank opportunities. Have to react mid, no problem. Just right click him. Aye, that's rough. Fair enough. I actually thought Karma would have a little bit more damage output than she did, so that kind of sucks, but fair enough. Still had flash, probably should have flashed and respected the ignite a little bit more. But it is a double kill, so it's not too bad, actually. That's fine. Uh, okay, no problem. I don't really, like, lose anything necessarily there, because Karma obviously gets the double kill. And we do trade, like, one... Like, I do trade a death, but... If she gets a double kill, you know, uh, there's nothing to be unhappy about. That's a good advantage to the lane, even though I'm slowed down a tiny amount. That is not a problem. It's just like a reaction. I could have gone for wolves, but obviously when the Zin just is there, just react to it and you're fine. All right, so Zin cleared his bot side because we already knew he had red buff as well, right? Uh, so basically he's going to be top side here for sure. We're just going to danger ping that real quick. Make sure to E always when you have the full bar like the red bar uh, otherwise it will do less damage and that is important so we just clear the rest of this we know that our crugs are going to respawn in about 20 seconds here we could just do blue do the bot scuttle and then transition through mid towards top side for our top side camps again and that's going to be the move here there's the zin that is actually something i might have to respond to can i do this in time I might be able to loop around here, maybe. I take a double kill. I, I knew I was going to die if I wanted to kill that Lulu, but that is absolutely no problem. Because one, I don't have to recall now, which is actually beneficial to me. Um, so I can actually back quickly and go towards my top side, get the Krugs and get the Raptors again. And two, obviously, the kill goes to the support because I killed the Twitch first. Uh, so the wave positioning isn't great. I couldn't fix it for my bot lane, unfortunately, but the trade of the two for one there is absolutely worthwhile to me. I could have survived that, by the way, and let Lulu live. It's pretty much a trade off between the choice there. I could have survived, let Lulu live, and that would have been a thing, but I don't care if the support gets the kill. And my recall is going to be faster this way as well, so it actually benefits my overall tempo a little bit more to just do what I just did and uh, suicide for the Lulu kill as well. Because now, as you can see, I'm taking both of these camps and I will be able to uh, much more confidently or comfortably like play for like a top side situation here towards this uh, void grub spawn or something. 
Zin is in fact a bot lane. Okay, that's not a problem. There's odds that I'm not going to clear that. That's going to disappear soon enough. It's fine. There's odds that his camps are still here, which I will check. That's down. It's fair. There's the Grom. Perfect. As long as one of them is up, that's fine. And we're Because we're kind of just stalling a little bit of time for these Void Grubs to spawn. We know Zin is bot lane, so it should be no problem for us right here. Take that and move over here. Place a nice tunnel, hit the Q, and then we just assist ping. The assist ping is mostly just for like the information towards my teammates knowing what I'm doing here and they can back me up. I have complete mid priority, so it should be no problem. I'll smite the first one because I have two smites, so I can use the other smite later on. For the last one here, potentially. This guy has no mana. That's, that's mine, thank you. That's why we have the other smite. Am I going to die already? I am actually just straight up dead. Interesting. I'm a little bit surprised that they were able to collapse that much faster and actually, like, have a winning position there. I don't know where my Darius was at, to be honest. I will say I did not pay attention to that too much. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like a Warwick without any mana and, like, with the amount of priority, like, Karma had... I, I feel like that should have been completely ours. Uh, but if Darius is like way, way too late to that fight, which I think he was, that obviously puts a bit of a wrench in that situation. A little sad. Uh, getting a couple deaths here. Not too happy about it, but I guess it's fine. Got the Void Grubs there. Gar Karma got another kill. I'm still very surprised at how we lost that. I mean, they're, they're strong together. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, their team comp is just strong, like Warwick, Xin Zhao, and Yone. But even in that situation, I feel like it should have been no problem. They have good target focus on me, though. Our, our drugs are respawning, our raptors are respawning, so we're just gonna clear everything now. Clear all the way down, look for the dragon play. Like, the good thing here is I still got all the objectives. Oh, that didn't spawn yet. Whoops. Still got all the objectives, so that's nice. But, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit awkward, I guess, that we lose those fights. Just move on. Oh, go mid. Just kind of ult him there on low HP. Dude, you're serious. Like, <laughs> dude, I feel like. I mean, I get target focus there completely, which is fair enough, but I feel like my karma doesn't do anything at all. All right, whatever. Another one for one, I guess. Interesting. That's uh, not the most favorable trades. That's not going to work, Warwick. All right. <laughs> These fights are awkward as hell, man. I guess it's fine. Oh, pretty spicy aggression over here. Instantly interrupt, interrupt that one. Perfect. And just insta dragon. I'm going to flash for that one because it's worth it. Mm. Racking up some deaths here, but in the grand scheme of things, not too bad, to be honest. Like, most of the deaths are actual trades. So even though it's not good for my KDA, it's not necessarily bad for the game, if you know what I mean. Get the dragon off that, off the back end of that one as well, so that's quite nice. going to quickly take this. Karma needs to run down, not up. She's going to run up. She's probably dead then. Finish that off. I don't get to fight this, I don't think. Wait, that Leona is going to be here, right? Yeah, okay, good. Took the kill, a little sad, but, you know, what it is what it is. It's fine. That last auto attack she did was slightly unnecessary. She could have probably just given the kill, but in the grand scheme of things, it's fine. Oh, no, I don't really want to fight this because I'm like half HP. Uh, Yone has priority rotation there. It's not something I'm really looking for, you know. Plus, all my jungle camps are going to respawn soon, and the Void Grubs are going to be up in 30 seconds, so my objective right now is just going to be simply keeping good jungle tempo, clear everything here, and um, go for those Void Grubs on spawn if I can to get those secured. Need to make sure I don't falter on that. Like, no, like no matter what happens with these trades, right? As long as I make sure to keep good clearing pace, like a good pace at clearing my camps, I'm going to be fine. So, like, as you can see here, like, I'm trading a lot. 
Uh, I've lost quite a few deaths, but my CS is still very, very solid. So it adds up to be fine. Karma wins that for sure. And that's a flash use as well. Gonna then smite that instantly. Build here. You need to ult when he's low HP. Uh, we, we smite the first one because we know that it's only possible for that one, for him to be on that one. So we insta-smite the one we see, and then we obviously knew where he was positioned. I really hope this ward doesn't kill me here. I think I suicide for the last one. Knock him up, walk down towards my team. And jump him at the end. I need to, You don't need to always try to burst the Warwick out at the end. So I always hold my burst damage till the end for Awarik to try to completely burst him so he doesn't sustain that hard on low HP. But that's good though. I wanted to go for that sixth one. Like even if Warwick would have killed me for it, I think it would still have been worth it. Because six Void Grubs adds the extra spawn to it uh, compared to the five. So I need to actually kind of go for that one. Um, enemy team here is relatively tanky, relatively durable. So I'm just going to go Cleaver. You... I need to go steel caps here for sure as well. Auto attack based comp. I'd say, like they're relatively durable. Like this guy can build relatively tanky. This guy can build relatively tanky. So I'm going to go for the armor penetration. If you don't need that, if you like full squish, you feel like they're not that durable, then you could just simply go for the Sundered Sky instead in this slot now for the extra crit, which is more burst towards squishies, which can help me quite nice. Uh, but it's kind of a trade off between the two. Both are fine, to be honest. We sweep here. We try to see if we can get a good position on this. Need to right click someone. I'm gonna ult this guy. Obviously to finish him off. I didn't initially want to do that, but no, this is not looking too good. I'm obviously not gonna try to fight this. It's 2v1, Lulu can polymorph me. It's not worth it. Twitch does a lot of damage as well. I just have to respect them at the moment. Hmm, not the best fight scenario. The engage timing was not that good because I wanted to try to flank and get like a better situation going. But the Leona kind of just went in and I had to close the distance afterwards and Zinzao's ult timing was actually pretty good. Darius coming in with a winning move there, I think. Yep. Just wait for the Leona. Go, right click him. I'm gonna have to flash for this hit, I think. That's fine. That works. Not too bad. Uh, the exhaust, like they still had everything up apparently, so the exhaust kind of posed a little bit of a threat to me there, but it's okay. I focused the Twitch, obviously. He's worth a shutdown, he's worth everything there. And this moment, I want to take his camps as much as possible, so we're gonna check everything on his bot side, and then we have the dragon spawn in mind as well. We can use our passive to heal ourselves back up to full HP. We can check if that's up, it's down, it's fair. Check his raptors. They're also down. They just respawned though. I'm in the vicinity here for Karma, so if something happens, we're like we can just be there, right? But I obviously want to try to take Zinzao's camps to be consistent. Because I have nearly double his CS right now. Where are you going, Leona? Need to focus the Twitch, obviously. Go for the focus. Hit this, and then we just R to get distance on Lulu. Pride Breaker for the slow. Perfect. Nice. Thank you, Leona, for giving me the kill. And then we could just go for Dragon. I hit it, my guy. It's fine. Let's go mid, actually. Good flying, good cover from Darius. They even clean it up. She lost vision for her auto attack, unfortunately. I just want to go for Dragon here, to be honest. I'm going to hit it so it jumps up and moves out a little bit while I get there. So it's in a, just a nice position. We finish this off. 
And then our entire jungle is back up once again, so we need to look towards clearing that very shortly here. But like, I have a very, very solid amount of KP here. Doing work. Even though I have some deaths, you know, and my tempo never went away, essentially. Like, I always still had good clear speed. Tried to be there for the objectives, etc. So, you know, even though I do die, which were mostly fine trades in terms of kills between the teams. And my, my, my laners got stronger because of it, right? I'm okay with that. Uh, so the overall situation here is good. Darius is now popping off as well. <laughs> yeah, Darius ult resets. I uh, kind of disgusting, eh? Okay, let's move on towards my topside camps now. That bolt turret's worth quite a bit. They should try to take it, but Twitch is back, so they probably should need, they probably need to respect it for now. For me right now, I just want to clear the rest of my topside camps to have this nice pace through my camps, making sure that they're not up too much um, between, like, plays that I make. Because if you consistently clear them, that will be good. I will go for that. But I will finish this camp first. Easily doable. Should be no problem. I can just use the tunnel back and then the tunnel over. So if they just started, it will be fine. All they have to do is just start it. I just do this. I'm here. It's all good. But I also cleared my uh, my Krugs now, and I didn't have to wait for them, basically. All right. I'll go top after the scuttle here. I'm assuming that Yone is going to get his recall off, though. But Oh, no. He didn't recall. I guess he's dead then. Probably going to try to run through. Or just try to commit to finishing the turret. I guess that's fine. We just hit him for the assist. What a karma build, by the way. <laughs> okay, then. Interesting. Ideally, this Rift Trail, I'd like to... Ooh, I'd like to use it on... Uh, wait. I oh, ult me away. Fine, I'll just take your blue buff. I don't really mind. He flashed. I actually have to respect him here a little bit because of my team's positioning compared to theirs. Now, yes, I do have a Darius here, but if the Twitch rotates for this, like if they, they rotate for this, it's going to be quite a kind of annoying. Just step back a bit. Build so I avoid some damage for a bit. Darius gets some resets off this. Go back over the wall, hit the Twitch for the knockoff, and Darius finishes him off. I'm pretty much just baiting them into the Darius play right there. Making sure not to go too overly aggressive. If they target focus me, I just ult so I can drop the target focus off me. And that should be good. Now here, obviously, as I said, we're going to use the Rift Trout for this top turret. Because this top turret is worth a lot to go for. 700 gold right here for this one. And I can then push the Rift Trout into the next bounce as well. I'm going to wait for it to walk past the turret, then click it. So it's just a little bit easier to maneuver. Doesn't get blocked by the uh, other thing there. It's good damage on this turret, like half its HP is gone. Nice and solid. Walk him up so he doesn't fear me. Stamp backwards. Ah, that's actually good timing. Just gonna hit this. Hit, like, hit the minion so I can get my fury back up a little bit. So a bit of healing. My team is just pushing. Like, if the Warwick stays with me here, that's fine. Leona does die there. He can't go for me. Like, I could just sit here and chill. The reason I'm chilling over here... Oh, that is a little awkward, actually. And just finish him on low HP. Like, again, there, the, the key is to burst out the Warwick so he can't sustain fight you on low HP with, like, his increased value there. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Just gonna quickly, in my W, sustain a tiny amount. Finish off this. Flash for it, so there's nothing else going on there. I might actually be very dead here. Stride Breaker. I need to just wait for my E cooldown. It's fine. There we go. We just leave. I have 6.2k gold, so that's a bit of a problem, you know. Definitely going to have to reset off that one. Let's get this. Get the Sundered Sky in one go. And then I guess we'll get some armor. Frozen Heart's quite good against that team, but not good for Rek'Sai, actually. So... I think Thornmill, honestly. Just go for the armor for this. Get some healing reduction in there. It's very solid. So we're going to go down that route here. 
Frozen Iron's good for like the attack speed reduction, but on the Rex, I don't particularly like the fact that the mana obviously doesn't give me a whole lot of value. So I don't really want to go for that. I'm just going to go for the Thornmill for the healing reduction instead, which makes a lot more sense. If I was playing something like Udir or something that benefits off the mana at least, I then I take Frozen Heart. But otherwise, like I just don't like it that much because of that uh, mana thing. All right, how much damage does my E do? 340. Okay, sure. So that's about 1500 smites, roughly. I'm gonna keep the next E for that one. And E smite, there we go. Check the red buff, it's down. We'll go for the uh, Zin here. This is not a problem. I'll just hold for the little bit of distance, I guess. I'll auto attack move, so if they get in range of me, I can just instantly get the knock up. I'm not in a rush here or anything. We kind of just wait for the minions to close in on them. They're going to be doomed if we do. The turret that drops and they're dead. Instantly knock up the Twitch, get a good engage, and there you go. Nice, nice, nice. So Thornmill here into... I think a Death Dance would have been fine. I don't have to worry myself with Magic Resist too much here. So that would be a nice offensive item. And yeah, that is it for Rek'Sai. It was a pretty short game though, so I will see you guys in game number two. Alright. Time for the second game of this video. Uh, I would be playing against a Warwick on this one. Which again, like Zinzao, is kind of a pain in the ass because a uh, very strong early game champion. Ne Rek'Sai isn't necessarily weak early game or anything, but she is also not like on the level of those champions. Uh, so yeah, they're gonna have to respect it once again. Uh, we'll see. Lanes wise here, they should be fairly easy to gank because most of these are very immobile champions. So getting a knock up on those should be very, very doable, especially like mid lane with a stun is great. Uh, so I probably will prioritize trying to gank this Nasus a bit because of the ease of that gank. If I had a better support for like a CC reduction or for CC like Leona or Nautilus or something, I'd most likely look for a more aggressive way of ganking Bolt as well. Still gonna start on red buff like before, obviously. This is just a very strong, solid start. Allows you to adapt, right? Like take, take your three red buff camps and then move on from there. Do get a leash from the Teemo in this instance. Wait for it to go below 600 HP before we smite it while walking up towards the next camp. Auto attack the small one one time for a bit of a red buff apply. Application on that one. Good. And then wait for the circles to disappear pretty much. And then you can uh, go into your burrowed form again. And we finish this off. Alright. Mid is getting pushed in already. Which is actually very favorable for me. I'm going to ping that I do Raptors first. And then go mid. Rex, I need to hit level 3 before anything else. So we are absolutely making sure we clear that right now. Focus the big one. The AoE damage from your Q will essentially kill. I'm going to hold my Q for my burrowed form here, and we're just going to go straight mid. He has it warded. I see. I think it's warded. I do have a very good top lane gank opportunity though, so I'm just going to have to go for that, I suppose. Like, both of them are shoved in, so this should, in theory, be completely fine. Very good play. We just go in, we right click, and we finish off. Very nice. I don't know about Timo's flash, probably wasn't necessary. We don't do anything but just instantly reset here because we need to catch our bot side camps as fast as possible to try to make sure that the enemy jungler doesn't mess us up here. Uh, so if you if you would like run all the way here, you'd be inting because this is probably even faster, plus you have a recall. And obviously we're not gonna try to play anything top side. Warwick is gonna be very scary. I just have to respect him. Just as a champion in general. I might just want to run like beeline it straight for bot lane here if Caitlyn doesn't die within this time frame, which he did flash, so that's good. A wave is going to have to be pushed now, so I'm probably just going to respond to it and see if I can do something here. Caitlyn doesn't want to stay, which is fair. Uh, we'll see here if they are going to walk up the ward or anything like that. My support's going to be back here soon. I obviously cannot go in too early. 
I would imagine that this is not warded, so I'm going to try to loop in from the backside and see if we can go for this. Right click the Tristana. Interrupt her from dashing, which is very good. That's exactly what I was hoping to achieve. Very, very nice flank. Okay, we don't touch the wave at all because we want to give those to Caitlyn. The wave should be good enough for Kate to get, and then you don't want to mess your AD carry up too much. And it's just a very favorable gank opportunity for me. And we're just going to go for this scuttle now, and then by the time like we clear our bot side, as you can see, our top side is also respawning now. So you just want to have like good pacing through the rest of it. Need to clear my bot side to start respawning those camps too, and then obviously hopefully get the uh, level 2 spawns on my top side camps. If Warwick decides to take my Raptors right now, that would be fair enough. But it, in the grand scheme of things, wouldn't impact me that much. Uh, because it's still a clear towards my camp for a better respawn on the next one. Uh, but obviously I can't leave my bot side camps up to try to defend my top side camps in this situation. Because that will lose me tempo like throughout the rest of the game, if that makes sense. So even though I would maybe lose Raptors here, it's not really worth defending. Specifically now to be able to catch this tempo. Not going for it, that's fine. We have the Void Grub spawning in about 50 seconds. Um, I'm just going to clear the rest of my topside camps because everything is up now and I just want to have like a smooth recall uh, or a smooth re um, respawn pace on these things. Like without too many gaps in between. So we're just going to clear it as we like move as fast as possible through them. And that should be good. Level 5 there. Okay, he just warded like in here, I believe. So that's going to be easily avoidable, no problem. We could just clear this, go back over the wall with the tunnel, and then like go over the the other wall there and potentially gank from this angle, which could be kind of nice. He is obviously quite low. He doesn't have flash, I believe, so it should be pretty easy gank. Go back over this way, and then we're just going to ping we're on our way top. Okay, maybe not. Uh, obviously, the Void Grubs are spawning here, and I do want those. The Scuttle is spawning on both sides, so there is no Scuttle available in this area. I do still have my... Uh, my tunnel available, so I guess if Warwick does show up, I will have to tunnel out. I cannot fight him because I have no laners. And it's a Warwick against the Rek'Sai, which Warwick will just win. So, you know, I have to just respect it. If he shows up, he gets to get whatever he gets. If he doesn't show up, I get all three. All my camps are down currently anyway, so I don't have to worry about any of that. And we just focus on this one. I hold the smite for the last one because I don't have two smites available. If I had two smites available, I would smite the first one as fast as possible, basically. And then, you know, get the smite cooldown for the 15 seconds for the last one as well. Get the red here, and then we'll most likely go reset and play for the dragon on both side. I do obviously have to invest my money. I have about 2,000 gold here. There is the dragon. That's fair play. A good fair trade. Makes sense. Hopefully my botlane respects it, though. All right. Good. Goes for the stride breaker here once again. Build everything we can. We can buy everything. Perfect. Oh, now that I think about it as well. Actually, a thing to mention. If you're this far into the video and you are enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. Checking if you're subscribed if you haven't yet. Because about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So, yeah. Hitting the like button is also greatly appreciated. And uh, that's about all I have to say. <laughs> Let's move on. Our camps are respawning. The enemy botlane is shoving in, so I might be able to like look for something there. But I don't have a Caitlyn here, and Ash is hawk shoulding me to Narnia, so she definitely knows like I'm here. I will probably just have to move on. All my camps are respawning in a nice sequence once again, as I basically cleared them for that sequence earlier, so I can probably just clear all of it and uh, see what happens there. Might be able to transition gank through mid, though. Probably something I could look for. There's a ward here, which is a little annoying. I wonder if this Nasus is going to, like, walk up to the Syndra. Just right-click him out of it. Okay, yeah, Syndra, you, like... Okay, he's low HP now. I guess I'll just ult. You need to hold your ult for low HP. Uh, Syndra has 1 HP. I'm going to help her shove this wave real quick. So she gets the back. Not trying to get any of her CS, but I'm just making sure that she can just shove this quite fast and without any risk. Because obviously you have to respect the Warwick. You have to respect the Warwick. You are dead. Absolute monster of a player. 
If Warwick doesn't kill that, I'll be extremely surprised. Because Warwick has like Mach 10 levels of movement speed against Cinderella. There, there she goes. If she survives that somehow, that's a mistake on Warwick's end. Yeah, good luck, buddy. I knew it. <laughs> that guy did not want to listen to me. Fair enough, mate. Whatever you want. If he was full HP, I'd be respectable. But on that HP, Warwick has way too much movement speed towards you. It's just not possible. Full HP Cho'Gath. Okay, that's not all the gank I can do. Very sad, honestly. Like, that was... I mean, I'm assuming Cho'Gath ulted, so... He's gonna walk through that room as well. Don't get hit by that. Can I even do this? Probably not, right? I don't know. Fair enough. I'll just take this wave, honestly. That's enough for this. Yep, yeah, okay. If I had ult, I'd be able to kill Cho'Gath, but I obviously don't have ult there, so I can't really do anything. I, in this team, I'm gonna have to get... Against that team, I'm gonna have to get Mercs. They have too much CC. I want to go for those Void Grubs in 40 seconds. Still gives me enough time to probably just clear my bot side anyway. Eh, yeah, I think it's fine. Gonna E for some distance. 28 seconds on those. Mm -hmm. It's a little close. Depends on if Warwick speed runs them, I guess. I'll smite one time here. It's fine. Get that in here. Oh, wait. Are you serious right now? Ult a Q for the Tristana. Ult a Tristana. Walk away from the Warwick. Wait, it wasn't off cooldown. Ah, oh, that's so bad for me, actually. I'm just gonna leave, especially with that teleport. Whoa. That's fine. You can dive me. Ah, damn. Uh, ti like, he still had Warwick ult. The timing there was pretty awful. That's fine, though. I cleaned it up. Made sure to hold my... Uh... He's gonna try for this, for sure. That's not a problem. Oh, he's running. That's okay. I'm obviously gonna go for this. I have the priority from mid. Walk away from the fear. Hopefully, I have not a blind mid laner, please. Hello, excuse me. Are you serious right now? Leave, run away from the Warwick, knock him up and back. Yep, there we go. The reason I'm kiting Warwick is because I don't want to give Warwick free auto attack radius on me. Because that is obviously absolutely terrible. If I give him free auto attacks on me, he'll, he'll out sustain me and kill me. So I have to burst him in like small burst windows. If I had a mid laner with eyes, though, that would never have been close, but I don't have one of those, so that is a tiny bit unfortunate. Alright, let's go for the Void Grubs. I'm gonna go for the six Void Grubs on this one, because I can get the six. Should be doable, at least. I'm gonna assist ping once, so my team actually, like, wants to react to it, maybe. I have one smite available to me, so we're just gonna smite the last one, obviously not the first one. Focus him down one by one, and hopefully Warwick doesn't show up in time. He doesn't have any laners that he has a lot of movement speed towards, so that's good for me, because if he ha if one of my laners was low, I'd have to be more careful in this situation. I honestly am assuming at this point he just takes the dragon again, I would imagine, but I think I'm just gonna have to give that. So I'll accept that for what it is. We're clearing my topside camps now. The top wave is pushing in, as you can see, so I probably can just clear my topside camps, all three of them, and then look for the gank on Cho'Gath, hopefully. Uh, he's most likely going to get a dragon on the back end of that one, but I'll be okay with that. I still have to respect Warwick a little bit in this situation, because he is just a very, very strong early game champion. Even though I'm, like, ahead in kills and stuff, it is still a Warwick, and it's still the most annoying early game champ to face, really, for a melee champion. Please don't back there. Please do not back there. He is going to back there. That sucks. That sucks so much for me timing-wise, because now this gank is not doable. Unless I wait for it, but I think uh, maybe I just wait for it, honestly. I guess I just go for this one. And just make sure he doesn't get, like, too many turret plate hits. AoE damage as much as possible, and then we just R to dodge that, and then finish him off perfect. Because he has the Sunfire, he gets turret aggro from me, regardless. So I actually had a nice benefit there. I saw the burn on him, and I could just clear the wave. Make sure I'm focused on clearing the wave as well with as much AoE damage as possible, and then finish him off. He gets turret aggro from Sunfire. I see him. We are good. Uh, very tanky team here on the enemy side, obviously. 
So we are going to go for the cleaver once again. If the team is squishier here and you don't need the armor penetration from cleaver, just simply go for Sundered Sky instead. I think my boltman is kind of safe. They're in a much more awkward position than I thought they would be. Let's see if this guy goes for the scuttle, which I think he will. Hi, that's very awkward, actually. I still have enough burst, though. I uh, At this point, I'm far enough ahead to the point where my burst is just going to be respectable enough. I, uh, I can't disrespect this, sadly. They cannot dragon, though, I believe. That would be impossible, I think. But I have to respect it for now. I'm going to do this camp to hit level 11 real quick as well. Get that level up. Clear some wards on both sides and try to go for the dragon still. It's a big Nasus push. I'm just going to run mid. This is obviously cleared, but it shouldn't matter. Warwick does have a, like, a lot of movement speed towards my Syndra right now. Just going to take the wave. Why did you teleport for that? Okay. I... Did not expect... Okay, sure. Let's just drag him. I wasn't expecting the TP. I guess I could have left the wave because of it, but I wanted to clear it to have, like, a better wave position going into this dragon. At least, you know, that the wave is not all the way back under my turret. Because I don't like that very much when I'm going for an objective like dragon. I'm gonna go over this wall. He doesn't have red buffs, so there are old snow. Fair enough. No wave here, so we'll pass by. Take some of the look at the bot side camps, looping from the back side of bot lane here. Kind of hope Triss just jumps into this. Yeah, this is just a free double kill for me, for sure. Close to distance, right click the Tristana. Just ult, execute him. Uh, not disrespecting too much here because I have no faith in my team. They run all the way backwards there instead of like playing with me. So even though I might be able to kill the Ash there, I need to be respectful. If my team is that far behind and I don't have enough damage, it's not going to be good. We're just going to look to focus the turret down, and it should be fine. Gets the Rift Herald. I don't really care. I'm not like I'm not playing towards the Rift Herald because I don't think it's a very good objective, honestly. I'd rather have like that double kill or like the play on bot, get the turret here, get his bot side cams. It's worth more to me. So that's why I'm playing in this area instead of like towards the Rift Herald for the Rift Herald because I already have the Void Grubs down anyway. So it's fine. Take his Raptors too. I have a large amount of kill participation here. Let's go bolt. Go over this way. Right click the Ash. That's fine. Ah. Maybe. Nope. Slightly mispositioned that one. Where is she gonna recall? That is the question I have to ask myself. Maybe here? Nope. Not there. That dude dead for sure. Uh, she recalled in a fairly safe spot actually. I do have my ult now, so if the wave passes by, this could work. I'm gonna try to risk it a little bit. Let's see if she recalls here. She does. I can't reach with ult there, really? Uh, rip me. Whatever. It's fine. Maybe it like maybe it's for the best. I don't think ulting that would have been particularly good actually. <laughs> uh, I need to just cover my mid laner here. There is someone here. I'm covering like her ability to hit the turret right now. She needs to not overextend though. There's the HR that I was expecting. I'm not gonna try to defend you. You're honestly just dead. You overextended, it's not on me. Whoa! Relax there, buddy. Jesus Christ. That is a big, big range warrior ultimate. Why are we taking my red buff again, Timo? I am not for this, by the way. I'm not going to give him my red buff. That is not happening. Yep, not happening. You can take that. I, I want the experience. He can pick it up, obviously. But I really don't want to give him my experience. Ooh, you're getting back aggressive there, mate. That is not... Is that not just a death? Like, what are you doing? Did he just really greed for my camp that hard? Build that to execute him on low HP, obviously, and then chase the Ash. 
Hit the Q. And finish him off. Make sure to like reach and right click the Ash. This is good. Yeah, that Joker just really wanted my camp for some reason. All right, very interesting. Let's get the uh, Cleaver. And then we'll go for the Starax next for the survivability and the CC reduction or the, the tenacity, of course. 13 kills. My god. Enemy team is looking quite good, though. Quite strong. I'm definitely worried. My team is looking pretty weak. This is going to be a hard one. I mean, I, I understand that I have all the kills, but it's not like my team has many assists. Most of my kills are just my kills, if that makes sense. So it's a bit awkward, to say the least. Just going to keep a nice tempo, nice pace on my camps. Hopefully this is going to end up fine. Obviously want this dragon if I could get it. Mm, that's a warwick on top side. That's fine. Check the raptor camp. It is up. Okay. I need to not disrespect the ash too much. I need to run towards my team actually. The dragon's going to spawn like 20 seconds. But if my team is going to die, that's obviously bad. I cannot engage on this because I got Nasus withered and I'm just crying. Don't really want to ult into that either because it's a bit too aggressive. I would just die. The reason I don't want to do any of that is because of Dragon. I really just want to get the Dragon. Clear the wave, hopefully there. That's going to be a kill. I'll ult that. Goodbye. He is out of position. That's just free. I really just want to go do the Dragon. Try not to over-aggress too much and just run down. Nope, I'm not doing Baron. That Baron is way too risky of a fight. Currently, the, it also trades away a free dragon. I'd rather just straight up get the dragon here. Ah, my team is just inting. Lovely. How hard is it to simply go for the objective? And it's gonna. This is going to take me a while. I don't actually know if I can clear it in time now. Maybe. Uh, Caitlyn just kind of died mid lane, so... No, you are serious. He, oh, I'm so sad, man. My team absolutely trolled the hell out of me there. Sad. Dude, oh, losing that sucks so much. He also got the smile on like 10 HP advantage there. He's going to chase that guy. That's fine. Auto attack move. Oh, uh, I'm dead. Do I have a zillion ult? I do have a zillion ult. Okay, that's fine then. Did he just ult himself? Please tell me. He didn't ult yourself. No. Why not? Are you serious, Zillion? I trusted that and I, I should, I'm never trusting him again. Dude, how are you ulting yourself? I am literally worth a thousand gold and 14 kills. That sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. All right, it's fine. I, I trusted him. I'm never doing that again. Like, I'm absolutely never doing that again. It's not worth it. That's brutal. I need damage, so we're gonna go Devs Dance. I actually need Thorn Mill, don't I? The healing reduction of this is too good. Don't think my team's gonna build it. Healing reduction against that team is gonna be very beneficial, so I'm actually gonna go Thorn Mill next. Oh, I would have won that fight with a Zillion Ultimate. Like, actually, that sucks. But it is what it is. I guess I'll just accept it. Who got the kill on me? Tristana did. So a thousand gold towards the enemy ADC. That's not good. I'm not going to take this kill. I'd rather give it to my Syndra or something. Themo, that's fine. That's... I lost the dragon to a flesh smite from Auric. And then that fight is also lost because of the no zillion ult. That's such a bad sequence for me. Oh, it is what it is. Can't reach that, sadly. A red buff is something I do want to take. With the Thorn Mill, it should be pretty nice for me. Greatly lowers their sustain capabilities on me. And then at the end, I think I'm just going to go for a Death's Dance. I mean, I don't have magic resist, but I uh, don't know if that's going to matter too much. Maybe I should. Hmm. I could go Force of Nature and just go super defensive. I think my damage is kind of fine. It's a pretty tough situation. 
I'd hope Timo, like Timo is kind of like, I don't know where he's going. Ah, he ults out. Sucks. Ash ult down though. Just right click and knock him up. Walk back, heal my heal with my passive. We go for the ash over the wall here. That's flash doesn't matter. That's a Trist dead. Don't think he kills me, but I will respectfully flash away from him. We have the Baron right now. Okay, we're turning on this fight for sure. Oh, why would you help me that early, you monster? Oh, no. Ah, oh, he ulted me too early. That's gonna cost me my life, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, that sucks. That's... that's. Mm. Shouldn't have gone back in, I think. I should have just respected it, because, yeah. That's... Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking a large amount of magical damage, so I definitely am gonna need to get some magic resist. I think, honestly, the best way I can do this is just Spirit Visage. For the extra added sustain and shield, I'm just gonna do that. Dude, this is rough. Like, that's actually rough. If that Zillion, like, delays his ult, because he is never in danger there, and he can just wait until I'm about to die, and he does it that way, I, we win that fight without me dying. But, yeah, rip, I guess. It's fine. I shouldn't have gone back in, I suppose. After he ulted me that early, I had no more defensiveness at the end. And that was a mistake on my part. Going back forward was a big one. Big stupido for me. Oops. I was, yeah, obviously already burrowed. I really want to hit level 15 if possible before the dragon spawn, so I'm trying to look for that. Yeah, good. I'm gonna go for the Cho'Gath here. It's just a free kill. It's an absolutely free kill if I've ever seen one. Try not to use any of your cooldown skills though. Just ult him at the end of low HP there. Dude. Heal. This Nas is as scary as hell, man. Holy moly. My god, I don't know, man. That's rough. I need magic resist, I guess. I'm honestly not 100% sure what I should be expecting from Nasus here. No, Zillion, don't walk into it. No. Right, right, right. I see. That's a teleport too. Ah, this dude, what, what am I supposed to do here? This is obviously water that I know this. I can't do anything. Man, 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 man. That Gnosis is a problem. I see. Okay. I see. Hmm. How am I going to deal with that, you know? How am I actually going to deal with that? I mean, I guess I target focus Nasus, but I don't know if that's really focused Cinderus is dead, I guess. Okay. I'll try to make it. Nope. What is happening, man? My team is rolling. See if I can get this blue, hopefully. That'd be nice. Pull it out this way. See if Trist walks in here. Where's my pet going, man? Are you serious? He runs down. I was gonna go for the Cho'Gath, I guess. Should be fine. This guy's just dead. Uh, he's too far up. Dude, Caitlyn, like... What is happening here, mate? Are seriously? I was finishing with it, all this fine. A kill is a kill, I'll take it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with this game. Like, I'm actually genuinely not sure. Okay, my team is useless. Very, very useless. Maybe they scale well, but Nasus is a big problem for me in these team fights right now. I need magic resist to fix it, I hope. That's enough. 
if I get like spirit visage here for a bit of magic resist, hopefully that's just enough magic resist for it to be fine. I realistically shouldn't kill this for 10 seconds. I don't know if I can. I should not do this. Okay, it just dies to Thorn Mills damage, I guess. It's, uh, that gives me my pet damage and stuff. But I wanted to give it to Kate and Timo, but... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. Again, why are we that far up when we have two deaths? I see. I'm not sure what to do about this, if I'm being completely honest with you. Like, my team is running it down, essentially. That's a Gnosis death, right? Kill the Gnosis. Very good. That's a thousand gold shutdown. Walk up the Warg, run past him. That's fine, he ults me, it's not a problem. We get Baron here. Please, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Come on. Come, Teemo. Please. Oh, you're joking. This is ridiculous. Ah, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, what is going on? How is Timo not even walking for this? Hello, Timo. Earth to Timo. Dude, what is happening right now? Like, actually tell me. I don't understand. That's good enough. Kill the Ash. Don't get killed by the Cho'Gath R. Baron, please. Just please, Baron. Do not chase, please. I need you to do Baron right now. That Teemo just hard afk that. Like, actually. Scary stuff. What is going on this game, man? <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. You're not doing this to me. I, I know you're not doing this to me. Thank you. That's actually a very nicely fine Zillion ult. I like that one. Nice ult. I'm not saying that. That sounds toxic. I mean, I feel like it sounds toxic. I I hope that doesn't sound toxic. I don't want to sound. I don't want it to sound toxic. I'm just gonna double down on it. You know, we like those. I'll give him that. I don't really need any farm. I need. Like, a little bit more experience for level 18, but no more CS. Uh, not necessarily, not for the gold at least. I do want level 18, so I'm gonna try to, like, do a little bit more for the 18, but that's about it. Maybe I can do, like, this position. I think this would be a pretty good position. Maybe not. No, he hit my T. Oh, this is bad. That's a good zillion bomb there. Go for the Tristana. I'm just running. Keep the Cho'Gath on bay, I guess. That's one down. Nasus is also dead. Ash is dead here too. Jogaf chased me all the way. Like, I don't mind that. Me distracting him to that degree is good. Gonna ult him at the end here. Low HP Jogaf. Very good. Him following me there is actually something I want to happen. So that's good. I can just loop back around and finish it off. Um, the Nasus died to some AoE damage because they were in like a pretty tight corner, which is good. And I should be able to get the dragon off that. These fights are pretty tough, though. I imagine Chris definitely helps me a lot. I might want to sell my... I don't know if I can afford to do that, actually, but I might want to sell my boots for a Jock Show or something. Maybe a Force of Nature. I don't know about the Force of Nature, to be fair. It does give me, like, the movement speed that I would be lacking. Because I do have double tenacity, so the tenacity from this isn't particularly great. The only question is going to be the movement speed. Is it going to... Like, am I going to have enough movement speed to compensate for it, you know? Right now, I'm just sweeping through his jungle to... That's actually his, damn. I didn't have smite for that. This should be fine, I think. Sustain myself, walk backwards. This is fine.
I just need the water tilt. Or the zillion will dare. Perfect. Nice. Well played, zillion. Absolutely beautiful stuff, mate. That's why we call a giga chat zillion player right there. Amazing. Well played, Zill. The timing on that ult was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I give him the praise for it, you know? He does it well. Like, he, he basically won that entire fight by, by, by ulting at the perfect time. So that's absolutely respectable. It's gonna push here. Obviously, they're all dead. They target focus me. I'm actually very happy with that, especially if Zillion plays it like that. Like, if Zillion plays it really well like he just did and ults me at the very end i tank a tremendous amount of damage for my team like i took everything there and they could just hit, hit them for free hit the turrets down that's uh, okay they're not hitting turrets so this might actually be a bit of a problem we're just gonna have to leave we need to back away caitlin is not here they did not want to auto attack the turrets so we don't get to finish those we're just gonna have to reset now I think I am going to sell my boots because I think with, like, everything, I should be okay. As long as I get an, uh, a movement speed-based item, I'll be fine. So we sell this. And I think the best one is just Force of Nature for the extra tankiness at the moment because I am the only frontliner. Uh, so we're going to go down that route. It gives me 5% movement speed and with enough instances of magic damage, which they have a lot of instances of magic damage out of these three, it should be good enough. I will let him kill it because, again, I don't need money. I'm now a little slow, but still at 400 movement speed. Running around at 400 is good enough. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go here. Hmm. I don't want to go too aggressive. Okay, that's actually fine. I'm gonna go for Tristana there. They can hit me all they like, but I don't think they can kill me as long as Cillian ults properly. Maybe he doesn't even ult me here, actually. Do I get this guy? No, he gets the jump reset. I think I just hit the Nexus. I would just go for this guy, actually. He doesn't have Nasus ult now. That's a problem for him, for sure. Very good. They can hit me, no problem. Go for the Tristana here, obviously. I am extremely tanky. Zillion still has ult, so I'm absolutely not worried whatsoever. I can just send this. Look at that beautiful Zillion ult once again. Absolutely perfect. Wasn't necessary in this case, but like that's only ne not necessary in like 1 HP. Alright, GG's well played. Oh, GG well played. There we go. That is it for Rek'Sai. I hope you guys have enjoyed both of these games. If you did, make sure the like button below helps you out quite a bit. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here for game number one, I ended up doing 22k damage, which is the second highest in this game, apart from Darius, which makes sense because Darius was absolutely popping off near the end there. So that's fair enough. Uh, true damage, 1400, 9.3k for Darius. Objective damage at 36.7k, very solid. Healing done at 23k. We have damage taken at 31k, which is the most. This is good. Self-mitigated at another 20.9k, uh, which is also good. Gold earned, 12.8. Just solid income there. Uh, for the runes, Conqueror healed me for 555, but the adaptive damage is something you don't see much more valuable. Triumph for the extra HP restored. Gold, tenacity, CC reduction alongside the small tenacity rune as well. Good of graffiti added execute damage. I like this a lot for rec size ult potential. So I take that one for the most part to help execute with those ults. And then just Magic of Footbear and Cosmic Insight. Then for the endgame stats for game number two here, I ended up doing 62.1k damage, which is by far the most here. A very, very solid amount of damage. You know, not bad at all. True damage at 6200 true damage. A very, very good amount too and very solid. More than Cho'Gath even. We have objective damage at 51.4k. We have healing done at 585 uh, insane like this is an insane amount of healing this is also like rex size this is why, is why she is so strong right like those early game ganks from the first game like getting priority like creating a lead for your team essentially even though that cost me quite a few deaths uh, but she then snowballs or skills now into a very durable and like very 
strong just fighter in team fights which is extremely good so you have a strong early game and quite a strong late game as well to be fair so that adds up we have damage taken here at another 78.4k which is the most as well uh, self-mitigated on top of that with another 92.3 so i took a colossal amount of damage this is because it's like easily sustained. Obviously, the zillion allows me to go just that little bit more than I usually would. But rec size passive, if you use it correctly, easily sustains you for a large amount of health. And then obviously, if you build quite tanky, which in this case, I have no choice but to build like several tank items because I built uh, both. I built Thornmill, Spirit Visage and Fro uh, at the end, Force of Nature, right? I built very heavy tank items and the first three were more damage orientated. You can go into the more damage route after those first three, but you have to keep in mind that, that it's only possible if you have other people in the front line with you. And I, in this game here, I only have four squishy range champions behind me. So I'm going to be taking all the damage, which means the tank items will be more valuable. The gold earned at 22.1k here. Uh, for the runes, Conquer healed me for 2400 HP. Uh, we then have the adaptive damage as well. It's a big factor, but you don't see it here. A triumph for 6100 health and 800 extra gold tenacity as uh, just cc reduction with a small rune as well could have grow for 2000 damage and then magical footwear and cosmic insight once again a full build here nothing to add to it obviously you can potentially go more damage orientated if you have additional frontliners so instead of things like a uh, thorn mail um, and force of nature i could go death's dance and you know something else just damage orientated instead like devs dance and uh what is it called uh the, the, the sundered sky that one yes those are options uh, instead if i want to really push for more damage but obviously that is not uh, gonna happen if you have that many squishy range champions with you you are going to be taking the brunt of the damage so you need to be tankier but though, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to the like button below. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.